A D S R Pro Hi guys, welcome back to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Today we're going to be looking at transferring your preferences from your previous version of Cubase, which in my case is Cubase 8.5, to the new Cubase Pro 9. So let's get stuck into it. Now the first thing I'll do is I'll show you this Cubase Innuendo program preferences files. I will put a link to this in the bottom of the video. Um, what this does is basically it shows you which files contain which information. So for instance, I want to transfer across my quantized presets and this is stored in the presets RAM presets XML. So I'm going to transfer that across and that will mean all my quantized presets from Cubase 8 will then be in my Cubase 9. I'm also going to transfer across my project templates and of course you will have your own items for instance like key commands. Um, you might want to transfer those across. Again, I'll put a link to this in the bottom of the video. So let's get started. So what I've done basically is I've gone into my C drive, users, studio door, app data, roaming, Steinberg, and then Cubase version number, in this case Cubase 8.5. And I'm going across to my new Cubase 9. So first of all, I'll go into the presets folder and you can see there my RAM presets XML. So I'm going to copy, go into my Cubase 9 presets, and there's my RAM presets XML. I'm going to paste. I'm going to replace the file in destination. And then let's go back to Cubase 8.5. And I'm going to go to my project templates, and I'm going to copy all of those into Cubase 9 project templates and paste. Okay, so let's boot up Cubase 9 and let's have a look. So what this should do now is obviously it's going to scan those folders as it's booting up. It's going to find the new RAM presets XML and hopefully, there you go, there's all my new uh, project templates. So let's just open an empty one. And here we are. And let's go to my quantize values and there's all my MPC quantize settings. So there you go, basically that's worked. Now, like I said, what you need to do is decide exactly what information you need to copy across for yourself. You may have drum maps, you may have EQ presets. Um, all of these basically shows you the file name. So for instance, um, let's have a look at say toolbar presets. That's in RAM presets XML, so that'll have copied across actually. So media base settings, so that's media defaults XML. So if I open them folders back up, so there's your media defaults XML. So what you do is basically just copy, and I won't paste it, but you get the idea. And there's media base, and again, media defaults, sorry, XML, and you'd basically just paste it. And that's it. It's as simple as that. So I hope you found this useful. And until next time, if you like what I do, please do subscribe to my channel. Until then, bye-bye. A D S R Pro.